he joined the rebels to avenge his brother. Violence became his way of life, and he perfected it. His training led him to be the commander of this terrorist organization. But then many of his soldiers started requesting to leave. Was this a problem that needed to be silenced? Or was something greater at play? Hi, I'm Cami Utman. This is AWR 360. It was only a few years ago that Adventist World Radio started broadcasting into the mountain region on the island of Manduro. Little did we know the impact it would have and the lives it would change. When we first asked permission to set up our broadcast, we were told, radio does not work here. But as the broadcast started, the radio waves permeated the island and many people began listening. Pagan chiefs became believers and shared the broadcast with their villages. Store owners tuned in and shared it with their customers, and many were baptized. All these events soon caught the attention of a dangerous group of terrorists, the New People's Army, or NPA. Martin is the commanding general of the NPA on the island of Manduro. He joined the rebel forces at the age of 19. For the next 19 years, he fought against the government forces in some of the fiercest battles in the Philippines. Because of his victories, he soon became the terrorist group's new leader. When they are not fighting, they hide in their mountainside homes. Listening to the radio is their normal way of life. The NPA used the radio for news updates around the island. Then in 2017, AWR broadcasts started to dominate the morning and evening programs in the province. He listened to this new and different program. He wanted to make sure the message was not a threat to his group's ideologies. If it was, he would have ended it quickly. But as the days went on, he welcomed the broadcasts. Martin was surprised when one of his generals asked permission to be baptized and surrender to the Philippine military. Soon, many of his troops were requesting the same. In 2018, Pastor Dwayne McKee baptized more than 80 rebels along with some of their leaders. During the event, Martin was impressed when he saw the medical layman coming up the mountain to provide healing care to the rebel fighters and their families. He realized his men were choosing a life of freedom and peace. Then he learned that AWR was providing assistance to those who surrendered and wanted a new life. Many received farmland or enough money to start a small food stand. AWR was also working with the local military and government to ensure amnesty was given to those who surrendered. When Martin saw all this, he decided to contact Adventist World Radio directly. In 2019, AWR decided to conduct additional evangelistic series. Martin reached out to AWR saying, I want to be baptized too. Our AWR team ventured deep into the jungle to meet him. But unfortunately, since he had not surrendered yet, and he still had 13 warrants for his arrest, there were many who still wanted him dead or captured. So his comrades called off our meeting. AWR broadcaster Robert Tulai kept in contact with him to negotiate his surrender to the military. Now fast forward to May 2021, as the world was going through a pandemic, the Lord's work of peace happened. Hundreds of rebels met with many government soldiers and pastors for a week of healing and forgiveness. As they met, they studied the Bible together. They had trust activities and meetings every night. Then on May 8, they marched into the Adventist church. Government officials and the Filipino military generals were there along with the leaders of the NPA. They signed a document of surrender, officially ending the New People's Army on this island. Many rebels cried as they received forgiveness, forgiveness from those they fought ruthlessly against. Only the power of God's love could heal such hatred. Numerous rebels made the decision to be baptized 
along with many Filipino soldiers and their commanding officers as well. AWR began making plans to visit, but for many months, the country was locked down to foreigners. Then, President Rodrigo Duterte of the Philippines gave special permission for President Dwayne McKee of AWR and President Ted Wilson of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, along with the AWR crew, permission to enter the country in November 2021. Evangelistic meetings took place and free healthcare was provided. As AWR arrived to the main site, we were welcomed by the former rebels. Over 700 now ready for baptism. Various diplomats and military leaders spoke. On the second night, it began to rain, and as it intensified, many sought cover nearby so they could still hear the sermon. Soon the rain became so heavy that it was drenching even those on the stage. It was as if the devil himself was trying to discourage all who were present. Though wet, the group remained. Next, on November 13, Sabbath morning, it started to rain again. United in prayer, we asked for God to stop the rain. The skies cleared just in time for the culmination of His work. Over 1,400 walked into the water to be baptized. Among these were 700 rebels and their leader, Martin. Alongside the former rebels, many military leaders were baptized too, symbolizing the end of the war on the island of Mindoro. The next night, these former rebels held a special service in honor of the baptisms. Joyous songs were sung and they spoke about their past lives, their struggles, and how Jesus is now their future. This celebration of testimonies ended with a beautiful candlelight ceremony. They made a pledge that each one of them would reach one more to be baptized by the end of 2021. Many preached in small villages. Some went to the other islands to talk with rebels there, sharing with them the love of Jesus. There are now an additional 700 new rebels and villagers ready for baptism. Once again, they made a request for Adventist World Radio to return to their island and baptize them. God's miracles are still happening today. Who would have believed that just a few years ago, these men were hardened terrorists, but now, thanks to laymen preaching about a loving Savior, they are now fully reconciled to Christ. AWR invites you to join with us in reaching all for Jesus. From broadcast to baptism, this is AWR 360.